National USCU picket line. We're asking people not to cross. They came out to protect their pensions, not just for themselves, they insist, but to ensure the profession continues to attract the best talent and students get the highest quality education. The employers are pushing through really draconian changes to the pension scheme, which take um, guaranteed pension benefits in retirement um, away from them and leave their pension in retirement to the whims of the market. Uh, and it could mean a lecturer could lose up to £10,000 a year in, once they've retired. Universities UK, which represents the employers, called the action disappointing. They say the pension scheme has a deficit of £6 billion and change is essential. The union says this 14-day walkout will affect 145,000 students. Now, there's plenty of support among the lecturers, but what do the students think? University Challenge. Now, the University of Glasgow is one of Scotland's four ancient universities. Hi, I'm Zach. I'm a first-year veterinary student. Uh, it is their well-being, from what I understand, their pension funds, and uh, if they feel that they're being wronged, then I support them in that. I'm Sean McPherson and I'm studying teaching at the at University of Glasgow. It is quite irritating, but we understand like they, they need to be paid well and they need to be like, supported. Hi, I, I'm Ross McFilly. I study biomedical engineering. I don't really agree with it as much, because I feel like uh, everyone, everyone should be affected by a recession and all the austerity that's happening, and people you shouldn't be uh, excluded from that. Unlike their counterparts in England, Scottish students won't be looking for refunds on their tuition fees in this dispute. That's because students here haven't paid them since the Labour Lib Dem coalition scrapped them in 2002, replacing the system with a graduate endowment. Then in 2008, the SNP government finally abolished the graduate endowment, essentially making tuition free. The former First Minister even had his opposition to fees immortalised in stone, though Harriet Watt University seemed strangely bashful about the stone, refusing us permission to film it this weekend. And they're not the only ones to discover that the issue of student debt can prove controversial. How different is the debate in Scotland at the moment, Joanna? Well, it's totally different, because, of course, what Damien Hind is coming up against is the reality that students are leaving university in England with a massive debt burden, facing huge ha house prices and stagnant wages under the Tories. In Scotland, we don't have university tuition fees, so students aren't facing that challenge. Students leave a university with their degree without a huge debt. That comment, alleging that Scottish students leave without huge debt, was judged by the journalism website The Ferret to be mostly false, on the basis that students here still have to cover their own living expenses. Miss Cherry said the article claimed she was a liar and was therefore defamatory. The figures show that among last year's graduates, the average amount of debt owed is nearly £12,000, although that's significantly lower than other parts of the UK. But even that's not necessarily the full picture. The repayment systems really matter too. So we know an awful lot of this debt in England is never going to be repaid. Um, the write-offs expected to be very high. Because in Scotland, the debt is lower to start with and because we collect debt in a different way. So we take more out of people's earnings more quickly. It's much more likely if you have a £25,000 debt in Scotland, you're going to pay off the whole thing than if you have a £50,000 debt in England. And that debt could be more likely to fall on the shoulders of some of the poorest students. What the SNP have done is they have slashed the amount available for grants and bursaries by about 35%. Uh, and obviously that money previously went to students from low-income backgrounds, um, who now, as a consequence of that decision and others that have been made by the Scottish Government, leave university significantly more in debt than their more affluent contemporaries. <laughs> A recent report for the Scottish Government recommended all students receive an income of just over £8,000 a year. The Government is still to give its considered response. And it's goodbye from me, goodbye. <laughs>